the results of this DNA analysis did confirm that the remains were those of Isabel Salas. Now, although this confirmation may bring some degree of closure, of course, it also ends the hope of bringing Isabel home safely to her family. The hope of finding Isabel Salas alive has vanished just as she did five years ago. It was April 2012 when her father reported her missing from her Tucson home, and now police confirm the worst possible conclusion. It was not the ending that many had hoped for in the five-year search for Isabel Salas. Kega 9 on your side's Craig Smith covered the young girl's disappearance, and he was with the Tucson police as they confirmed her death. But with a young child missing, this was a case Tucson police took personally. And even after almost five years, they still held some hope that they would find her alive. Now, Police Chief Christopher Magnus says remains found a few weeks ago and sent to a special lab for DNA analysis did confirm those remains were from the young girl. Sometimes long missing remains are found by chance, but the chief says that was not true in this case. It was not a happenstance. So it was the product of a focused search? There has been an ongoing process of many different searches, and this was not happenstance, but I can't get into any greater detail than right. that. The death of any child is a loss to the family and to our entire community. On behalf of our department, I would like to extend our deepest sympathies to Isabel's family. Isabel Sellas disappeared from her family's home in April of 2012. Her window was open and her screen was broken out. Her story touched Tucson and spread around the world in a mix of outrage, sadness and hope. But now the only hope left is the hope police can find her killer. Now, Chief Magnus says there are no arrests at this point. He cannot comment on where this development will lead investigators. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGA 9 on your side. The family has released this statement through the Tucson Medical Center saying, quote, we want to thank the community for the support they have continued to show for Isa over the years and for refusing to give up hope. Now is our time to mourn. We ask for our privacy during this time so we can do that. TMC, where Isabel's mother works, also gave their condolences after the announcement. This is not the news we had hoped to hear. Becky has been a member of the TMC family for many years, and our hearts grieve for Isa and her family. We ask that the privacy of the family be respected during this tragic time. Again, police are still asking for tips from the public. We will continue to follow this case on our Facebook page and at kgun9.com.